Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Communities Live here on Sheffield Live 93.2 FM. And we have Gladiators contestant, uh, Paul Campbell. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Contender, ready. Gladiators, ready. Yeah. So, I'm going to ask you, Paul, I mean, how did you audition? So, is it was it quite a long process or did it come together quite quickly? Um, well, bizarrely. I get asked this a lot, is uh, my niece sent me something late at night, probably 11, 12 o'clock at night, and I'm laid on the settee watching something, falling asleep. Mm. Uh, and she doesn't overly text me. So I look at it, it says Gladiators, this will be real street or something. And I think what she's talking about, Gladiators, it's, I didn't even know it was coming back. Um, I see the sort of green apply, um and ah, and then I decide to apply. It really just went from there. Without her, I'd have never got to the show because I didn't know it was coming back. So it was as, as simple as that, really. I mean, it was such a surprise that actually Gladiators, because we, I mean, it was so under the radar, like, because we'd never even heard about Gladiators coming back this year. And then all of a sudden, it was filming in Sheffield. And uh, yeah. Yeah. so, I mean, but for anybody that wants to apply for such a show like this, what advice would you give? And also, how many um, auditions did you have to do to get to a role? Okay, I had, they, they, they rang me once I took the application form in, but it was a while after. So you think that you haven't got in. You just assume I'm not in, you know, and you carry on with everyday life. Sure. Um. Then I got a call saying I was at work. So I nipped out, took the call, uh, and it was, we'd like you to audition. Uh, for, do you want to go to London, Manchester, Glasgow, Edinburgh, somewhere like they were all different places. Um, so I said Manchester, because I've got another niece in Manchester. Um, so I said Manchester, pick a date. Um, they've been doing editions for quite a few weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all, all around the country. So you figure, well, there's a lot of people obviously applying for it. Anyway, I got to Manchester, got to my niece, who stayed over. It was 10 minutes from her house, luckily. Um, and it was at a university. So they give you a bit of an insight of what you're going to do. And I'm a serial gymmer. So a lot of it was gym stuff. So it suited me, I presume it suited everybody else. Um, so when I got there, it was really just about doing your best. Mm. Um, and after that, it was just a waiting game. Sure. Um, so I did the audition. They never told you had you got through. Um, TV sort of looking for personalities. Mm -hmm. It's a family show. And they're looking for somebody to be reasonably fit. Um, if you know me, I'm a personality. And I'm reasonably fit, so I was quietly confident because uh, a lot of the things in in the tryout I was good at. Not everything, but quite a few of them I was good at. So I thought I stood a chance, and you know, my age I think was a factor as well because I knew that without knowing them, there was not going to be anybody my age there. It was it been unusual. Sure. So I figured, and I'm from Sheffield. So I thought, something's got to help me. Uh, so that was it, really. And then once I'd sort of done the tryout, we all, everybody got on. We had a bit of a laugh. And um, I'm quite quick-witted, so that helps. And then the next thing, they said, we'll let you know. Never heard anything for a while. Then I got a call. I was in the gym um, saying, you're through to the next stage. You're not quite there yet, but... You through to the next stage, we want you to do this in the gym and video it. Right. So it was how many, how many pull ups, strict pull ups could I do in a minute? I did 21. And then it was how can, long can you hang on a bar, sort of hanging down, full stretch. Uh, and I hung on for two minutes nine. So I figured that wasn't bad. Um, sent the video in, waiting game again. And then they said, I'm through to the final 10. So after that, it's, wow. So 10, 15,000 people applied and I'm in the final 10. So somebody was looking down on me. And i got to ask this, Paul, as well. I mean, you also tried to audition for the 
older version of uh, Gladiators. In, is it 1994 or 95 or something like that? But how, how far did you get to, on that audition then? No, well, I, I didn't audition for that show. Right. I, tra I tried to get on a Bear Grylls show. Um, you know, Bear Grylls used to do a show. I tried to get onto that, but that was probably 20 years before. Uh, right. You had to send your video in again and do all that stuff. But I never heard anything, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to apply for things now because once you've got a taste of it, um, so I would like to do, if, if they're listening, the SAS, uh, the, the Army one, I'd like to pick my wits and see how far I could go in something like that. Mm. So and, I'm, uh, I'm training every day, waiting for something. And I've, I've got to ask this, Paul. I mean, so when you get to uh, Sheffield Arena and you actually start uh, the show, I mean, um, we see the show that is, is always on for like an hour, uh, an episode. Yeah. So, yeah. but how long were you actually in the stadium? Were you in for the full day? Or Yeah, it's, it's a long time. But before that, you go there, you get three days practice. And right. they're long days. So everybody that's on the show, plus extras in case somebody gets injured. So you got three days, you know, you might be there at eight in the morning or nine in the morning, so maybe six, seven at night. Um, and you're practising. Um, you don't get long practice, but it's practice. Sure. Because, because what you're doing there, depending on what you do in a gym, you're not really doing anything like that in a gym. Yeah. You know, run of, run of the mill gym won't have poodle sticks. You don't have the thing that's the edge or anything yes. like that. So, so it's unknown to you. Um, so you get three days practice, which is is good. Uh, you want it a bit longer, but it's good. But they're long days. And then you're in the arena at maybe on, on competition day, maybe at nine. Uh, and you may leave there. Uh, when you've done it, it's after six. Right. So it's so it's, it's a long day. I mean, it's because I've day, seen... day. But I mean, I've seen. I mean, because I've seen some of the behind the scenes stuff, and it must take ages for them to like get all the games all set up and ready. Yeah, that's that's the downside to it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's 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 what they've got to do, so you understand it, but it doesn't it doesn't help you because you, you'd rather just bang 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 and get on. Sure. So it's a lot of downtime and you sat around. Um, so then you've got a quick warm up and away you go again. But it's it's the same for everybody. Yeah. And I've got I mean, who was your um who were you most intimidated by? Which gladiator intimidated you the most? Um all of them and none of them. It was I just I sort of had the mentality, it's what I do on the day. They're there yeah. to stop you. It's a game show. You've got to have a bit of a laugh with it and you've got to enjoy yourself. And, you know, I don't know many people my age that are probably as fit as me, but equally, they may have done better than me. You just don't know on the day. On the day, you just, you, you, you're doing your best. And what I found with it, in the training, there were a lot of people who knew who they were up against. They were sort of trying to work it out. Oh, I think I'm facing him or I'm, she's facing her. And somebody asked me, do you know who you're facing? I said, I'm not bothered. I'm not interested. Yeah. Because you don't want to spend three days trying to size them up and watch them. You just want to concentrate on you. So me being a bit older, I had a different mentality to a lot of the other people. I, I only knew the guy I was facing when everybody else had got theirs matched up. on, And so it, we were on, on an Instagram group, a WhatsApp group. So people sort of saying, no, do again. So I sort of worked out probably the week before my event who I were against. But other than that, it, it, I just wasn't interested. Yeah. And I mean, I've got to ask as well, I mean, did you get to meet, did speak to any of the gladiators be, um, in uh, backstage as well? I mean, uh, say, yeah, Viper? Yeah. yeah, I got to speak to quite a few of them. They were all they were all really nice. They were, they were, they were there to do a job and, and that was it. Um, and they knew it was a game show. So we all, everybody, there was nobody who didn't get on. Yeah. We, we we all got on. It was part of the process. They were good sports people. They were there, they, you know, they were there um, almost from looking at it after the event, you sort of think, 
they were all new gladiators, so they don't want to get beat as such. Mm. Um, obviously, they want to maybe do it again. We're not trying to get beat because we want to be the guy that beats the gladiator. Sure. Um, but again, you, you're against your opponent and you're trying to score points to really get the edge, really. But, but everybody got on. There was nobody that didn't get on. There was no falling out. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, because uh, when you see, I mean, when you see on the screen, well, I mean, say Viper, I mean, he looks really vicious, I've got to say. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I was just curious what he was actually like behind the scenes, actually. See the actual, yeah, the actual everybody, was, everybody was good. Viper, to be fair, was probably one of the ones I never really spoke to. I never really saw him much. Right. And he wasn't... He, some of them you never saw as much. There were probably a couple I never saw as much. Um, Giant was was great. They were, they were all good. I, I, don't, I won't say any of them was bad. I got on with all of them, the ones I spoke to and saw most. Um, they, they were all OK. It, it, we, everybody understood why we were there. and It's a game show. And everybody's trying to get that 15 minutes of fame. I suppose. True. And I mean, also, do you get to see the horse as much as well? Like Bradley and Barney Walsh, do you get to talk to them as much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they were great. They're they, they good fun. Um, I had a bit of a laugh with Bradley and his son. They were just nice people. So at the end, I sort of knocked on the dressing room and sort of said to him, uh, I've got a big family um, and they do a holiday programme. So I said, why don't you get my family on the holiday programme? So we had a bit of a giggle about that but yeah so is it yeah everybody everybody understood what what we were doing and it, it, it wasn't rehearsed you just got on with it and it, it came together and i mean you, we were also talking about uh how the sets were put together but it's amazing when, when you see them i mean when you see it on tv that they go like from game to game to game but it's like you, you they're taking uh quite a while to build the sets for like a four minute game really so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. But some some games less than four minutes. You can be down in thirty seconds. But and yeah, it, it it's it's amazing really because it does take a long time and, and the crowd are being entertained. But for us contestants in the back, you're on your phone or you're talking to another contestant and, and, and on your heat, you're the con it's, it's you who you're up against and the girls that are there. Yeah, obviously the staff are there, so you've not got a million people to talk to. So you can, and your your family are there, so you're not really talking to them. Yeah, you know, by phone, they're out there, and and you're in your sort of dressing room or watching the other con, or the contestants before you. Um, so yeah, so it's 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 a long day, but you, you get through it because your adrenaline's going. Um, so it's not so bad. And I, I mean, also, I mean, uh, what I mean, the gladiators are well, we're absolutely we're super evil, I've got to say, uh, yes. especially against uh, you know, and the other contestants. But I've got to ask you this, Paul. I mean, when you were playing the games, I mean, which was which was the toughest game that you were faced on, gladiators? The edge. The edge. It's 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 pretty th pretty foot in the air. Oh wow! And you don't realize you don't realize you're scared of heights. So you get up there and you have to go up in an harness, undo the harness and you're there. And the, and the kids, you know, I'm 58 now. The kids really don't have any fear. Me at 21, no fear. Me at 57, fear. Yeah. Because somebody, somebody's knocking you off and it's 30 foot. And there's a net underneath it, but that makes no difference in your head. You just don't want to get knocked off because you're thinking it's 30 foot in the air. So... That was by far the worst for me. It, it, it's it's just a high. It's just high. And it's like, whoa. And I've got to say, I mean, you were so unlucky as well in the fight uh, for the final with the um the um oh I forgot what you call the game now. The last game where um the, the travelator. Yeah, the travelator, that's the one. I mean, that looks quite tough as well to beat. Yeah, it, it's it's it was not easy, but a, but a good friend of mine um, called Mick, he's got a gym just across the road from the arena. So I did a bit of work with him and he, and he gave me a tip that I remembered 
uh, for all the adrenaline. And he said, when you run, sort of run ear pocket, so your hands are going ear to pocket. Yeah. And it makes your feet move a bit quicker. So I remember coming off the beam and just thinking, ear pocket, ear pocket. So my family members sort of said, but you could make that travel here to look easy. And I said, well, it, it wasn't easy. It felt easy because I was doing ear pocket, ear pocket in my head all the way up. So um, I think without Mick, I might have struggled myself at that point. And I've got well, I've got a couple more questions for you because we yeah. are quickly running out of time. But no uh, I mean, for anybody that wants to uh, audition for Gladiators next season, because there is another series coming out next year, because yeah. uh, it's such a, a popular show, what advice would you give to future contestants? I would say apply. I I applied fully. I probably applied at 12 o'clock at night, sat on my settee because of my niece. And it's strange you should say that, Chris. I've had so many people. I was out with some friends the other week and they asked me the same question because this gentleman wants to apply. I said, apply. And he looks a unit. I said, apply. Be memorable. He'll ask you for a video. Just, just be yourself and apply. I, I think you look for a different range of people. So it's not one person fits all. So I would say anybody apply, you have a chance. I had at 57, you thought a TV show may not take you. I got yeah. to TV. So there is, there is not one size fits all. I would say to anybody apply and just go for it. That's, that's what I would say. There's no, there's no, just, just apply. And I would like to give a uh, final word to you, Paul. Um, is for our listeners who is listening to this right now, what would you like to say to our listeners? I would say for all those who've, who've watched it, I've had loads of people come up to me in the street, in the supermarket, in the gym. Thanks for all your support. Uh, I probably wouldn't have got as far as I got without you, really. It's Sheffield. There's a few people from Sheffield. I want to give a big shout out to Bronte from Sheffield. She got to the final. Um, and Jake Sheffield and the rest of them don't have to be from Sheffield but a big shout out because they applied yeah. and they did the best and everybody got through uh, I've been to Charvel school they watched it they wanted me to talk to the kids me and Bronte who went there so a big shout out to the school and everybody that supported us um, you know I've got a lot of time off work you know everybody's been great my friends and family turned out and it makes a massive difference it makes a massive difference if people are helping you and supporting you and just being there. Uh, the whole arena, everybody took to everybody and it's it's once in a lifetime thing. So apply and give it your best. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Anytime. I appreciate your time. Thank you.